It's the middle of autumn and there's a real sense of change in the air. But to extend this season as far as possible, right now it's time to tidy. Even though the leaves have only just begun to fall, it is important to remove them from the lawn once a week so that the lawn can take advantage of the last of the seasonal sunshine. I'm going to show you two different ways to collect the leaves. The first method is to use these lightweight leaf grabbers, which are great if you have difficulty bending. The second method is to collect the leaves in this fold-up bag, which I'm going to take off to the compost heap. In the spring this border looks really pretty, but at this time of year there's not much colour, so I'm adding some bedding plants, and these violas just should give it that little bit of zing. Using a hand trowel, make a hole in the soil, plant the viola, and firm gently. Now's the time of year to move oranges, lemons and limes back into the greenhouse, and if you've been growing houseplants in the garden, it's time to move those inside too. The night temperatures have dropped to below 10 degrees Celsius, so these plants need tucking back up in bed. Over the summer months, paving can get really slippery, and I'm using this special paving cleaner to make sure we get all the weeds and moss that's grown in between the cracks. In badly affected areas, it's a good idea to pre-treat the area with a path and patio cleaner. This needs diluting, spraying on, and leaving for about 20 minutes. But first, I'm just going to remove the moss and algae in between the cracks. After about 20 minutes, you need to give the area a good scrub with a stiff brush, and then I'd advise washing away any residue with a hose pipe. And that's it for this month. It's also a great time of year to lay a new lawn from turf, and why not harvest some of those late flowering dahlias to bring into the house? My name's Lee Bestall, working in association with Spear and Jackson. Until next time, bye bye.